Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm bringing you Season of Dawn. The trailer just came out today. I actually did not know about it. I was too busy trying to like look good for an interview that I'm going to today. And essentially, yeah, it's pretty fire. I uh, wanted to make a video as fast as I could. I'm probably not going to have it out today because my interview is like in an hour. And to edit it and then put it up, it's not going to, it's going to take me more than an hour. So I'll have it tomorrow. And let me know what you guys think about the trailer down in the description below. I'll have the trailer in my channel because I don't want it. I don't, I don't want to have it in this video because we're gonna, already going to be looking at it. But if you haven't seen it, I promise you it's, it's dope as fuck. Watch that first. Get all excited so that way when you watch my video, you could see me tear down that excitement. Because essentially that's what I'm going to be doing. Because one thing that Bungie has done really good job with is the fact that their trailers are always really good. If you've if you've been following Destiny since the beginning, you guys will know that pretty much all their trailers have always been fire. They're always raw as fuck. And then when you play it, it's either A, really good, B, okay, or C, garbage. So, I'm not saying this is going to be garbage, but I'm just saying I'm expecting garbage so that way anything better than garbage I'm just like yes this is cool that's just me though I'm a very pessimistic person when it comes to destiny because like I said I've been burned too many times but let's get on with the video you've been busy God <clears throat> You slew the undying mind, you changed the course of history. Now time is broken on Mercury. Fra okay, so one of the main issues I have with this trailer is that I feel like Bungie, when we beat the undying mind, like what was it, a week ago or whatever, I feel like that in their mind, the ending that we wanted in game was this like they, they wanted oh this is this trailer is what you guys are gonna get instead of you know us kill like it would have been perfect if we killed the undying might the third time and then we got a cutscene not a f like a fat cutscene like with animation but i'm talking about like well it has to have animation but what i'm talking about is if you know destiny 2 vanilla if you're a veteran player you got little cutscenes of your character doing stuff like killing oryx uh atheon b bosses basically or going to mercury you had little cutscenes it was really cool it would have been awesome if you just had osiris right there walking and it doesn't even have to be like full 3d animation it could have been 2d animation walking up to us and being like guardian you killing the undying mind has fractured time itself and then after that it just pans out to a helmet of saint 14 or it just shows us saint 14's grave and it moves a little that would have sufficed obviously it would have been awesome if they had the strike and the, a random rolled imago loop all of that people would have been like this dlc was pretty good yeah this this dlc is okay but no no we didn't get that we get a we didn't get it we get we get a trailer telling us what the fuck happened in the dlc that we didn't even know what happened so that's Again, like, it just, I always feel like I always kind of have to say this, but it just feels like a missed opportunity. And I've been saying this since Destiny 2 or Destiny 1, that it's always just, this is a missed opportunity. This is a missed opportunity. When are you gonna, guys gonna stop missing opportunities? It, whatever, so let's. Fractured by the Legion. They intend to write a new history, a new ending to the Red War. Go Red War. And this armor is awesome looking. It looks super awesome. I have nothing negative to say about that because it does look cool. Uh, I like the weapons, uh, the weapon models. The weapon models look really cool. I will say though that the one that the hunter has looks like a reskin of. Not a reskin, I'm sorry, not a reskin. It looks like it could be a skin for. Fighting line. That's what I was gonna say. It's not a reskin, but it looks like it could be a skin for Fighting Line, which would be cool. I wouldn't have a problem with that. But I really hope these are new weapon models and new weapons themselves, because I could see the one that the Warlock has being a skin for Cyril's regime, and 
the first the, the one that titan has could probably be one for an exotic scout rifle but hopefully these are new weapons that we can get through the new event that or through the new no yeah through the new activity that we're gonna have that they're gonna show you in a bit but i like the armor the armor looks really cool i will say that throughout this whole trailer i only see one set of armor so yeah please tell me there's more because <laughs> one armor set for a dlc just seems kind of oh i don't know we'll see if you're willing to help, you'll need to walk the corridors of time. Also, I will say that I'm really sad that we finally get a time traveling storyline. And if there has been one, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm forgetting. But from what I remember, there's not a like a like this to the point where it's like in your face. You're doing that, and I'm not talking about like Mercury, where you go into the future, or not Mercury, where where like in a. Curse of Osiris where you go into the future to see what's happening. I'm talking about like we actually have someone from the past or future. I don't know. I don't remember how the timeline goes, but we have someone actually come out and talk to us and like apparently is in the story. So that's cool as fuck. You guys will see who I'm talking about in a minute. If you guys saw the trailer, you already know. But I'm just sad that we didn't get this type of thing in a really bigger story. So like apparently time's fractured. It'd be really cool if we were able to go to other timelines or like watch the rise of iron not the rise of iron watch uh like radagast beginning rise of art fuck why do we keep saying rise of iron it'd be awesome if we had like radagast beginning the iron lords it would have been awesome like different timelines like that would have been awesome but this is me just imagining let's just get onto the trail and you'll need my sundial to do it i built it so that an ally of mine could cheat death. I failed to help him, and his death remains my greatest regret. They call me the greatest titan who ever lived. So, Saint 14's voice is by far one of the coolest aspects of him. I was I was expecting like some posh like Titan and like what I when I heard his voice I was like yes yes okay he sounds super rugged super like I will destroy you with head. It's like what the fuck dude. He's an EXO too so that's awesome about him but it's just really cool that we finally get to experience 814 because if you guys know a little bit of the lore apparently we're meeting each other from different timelines so if you guys know like doctor who it's basically like we're the 12th doctor 12th yeah 12th doctor and saint 14 is a mirror or mirror a river song so we're like meeting in like different timelines like it's so fucking cool because apparently like the shotgun that we get from him we actually built for him and it's just like what the fuck it's mm. Dude, I'm like really pumped up for Saint-14. I really like his story and I'm not even a Titan main and I love him, but I just really wish we had a, like a hunter variant to this because we kind of don't. <laughs> like this guy's fucking badass. <laughs> so yeah, it's just me like gushing over him. He's a really cool character, yeah. So, this is the new event, or the new activity. I don't remember what it's called. The Sundial. Like a caged animal. And like, obviously... We gotta show Eververse stuff. This is all Eververse, like, let's be real. <laughs> we got a new map, technically. This is from Hold Destiny down. 1. Oh, and this part. Okay, so that exotic looks like to like looks like the exotic uh, what's it called? Fuck, fuck, fuck! What's it called? It's the one that got data mined not too long ago, where it was a fusion rifle. So apparently, for it, what I see is it's basically gonna be like a fusion rifle, scout rifle type esque thing. 
kind of like uh, what's it called? Um, basically, it's like Mytho class from Destiny One, which was a a linear fusion rifle, but it shot like a, an assault rifle. So basically, it looks like it's gonna be like a regular scout rifle, and then when you proc it f like with four headshots or a kill, or maybe combination or both, then you activate something where basically you can insta kill everything. So. I, this gun seems cool. It seems fun. Uh, I know people are gonna bitch about it because people bitch about everything, but these new emotes look pretty cool. Uh, again, gotta sell that Eververse. Bring the sky down upon them. So this part right here, that part, I, I'm a little conflicted about because that shield is new in Destiny. It's new in Destiny 2. Actually, yeah, Destiny 2. That's new. So, Saint 14 having that kind of implies that our timeline is diluting him or something along the lines. I'm not a lore master. I'm not. I'm kind of dumb when it comes to stuff like this. But to me, him activating the Sentinel Shield super kind of implies that somehow the timeline's kind of changing him. That's just me, though. Uh, lore masters don't get mad at me i'm just saying so yeah uh ultimately this is really cool shows us a lot of stuff that we are gonna have to buy from eververse like like this we're gonna have to buy that for sure we're not getting any of those god it looks so cool but the sundial is a new six player activity hopefully god i hope this is like you can actually matchmaking to this because i hate the idea of matchmaking or not matchmaking but like i hate the idea of not being able to matchmake and stuff like that so yeah this is cool that's cool this looks like uh the same people who make the last word and uh chaperone text mechanica i think they're called looks like something they would make some new shape or sh new sparrows skin for a gun yeah, uh, looks like looks like we're gonna get some guns, if not maybe just the shotgun from Curse of Osiris. Probably just gonna get uh, what's it called? Perfect Paradox. We're probably just gonna get Perfect Paradox Random World. Hopefully that would be awesome. Bring back that gun. I actually love that gun. But yeah, this does not look. This does not look like we can go to it, like, from Mercury. This seems like we would have to, like, spec into it. Unless they just, like, make a new portal, then we go through there. Which I wouldn't mind completely, to be honest, but... Oh, that means I have to go to Mercury again. Ugh. No one likes Mercury. But, I mean, the story seems like it's just gonna be us trying to fight the Red Legion so that the Red Legion doesn't tur turn the future to them winning the war and then us not for and the reason why Saint 14 is there honestly I don't know I don't if it's in the lore I don't know I don't I'm not that entrenched in the lore as I would like would like to be but maybe he helps us for some reason I mean the timelines are, are kind of like fucked right now so maybe he can just come to our timeline it'd be really cool if Saint 14 came back like it would be awesome him getting perfect paradox is awesome as fuck too the greatest titan who ever lived the greatest titan he is the greatest titan though like you can't even fight me on that but yeah this thought looks awesome a new uh new warlock thing where they just throw their melee that's cool that one the saint 14 head bash for sure is something you're gonna have to buy and that immediately fills me with unfathomable rage because i would love that to be just a thing you get in the game i could be wrong i could definitely be wrong but hopefully they tune down the amount of eververse stuff and kind of give us at least some things in the game because ultimately, all I saw was, what, 
four, three weapons, one bean, one bean and exotic, and then one armor set for each character or for each class. So I'm not saying that this is gonna be garbage, but I am saying that this showed more Eververse stuff than anything else. gun is that or what it oh that's probably a vex arm so yeah what do i think about the dlc or the trailer i think it's fine this would have been awesome if they showed us a little bit in the in the game <laughs> that way we could have been like oh that's what we did instead of cool done but yeah this trailer looks awesome it seems we're gonna be fighting cabal cabal and vex again or vex again not cabal but cabal nonetheless yeah, I. This this DLC could be good, from what I've seen. The story looks very very awesome, especially from like a Titans point of view, because they're one of their main characters, one of their most badass characters are coming, which is essentially Saint Fourteen. Obvious, obviously, he's one of the coolest Titans in the game, if not the yeah, like just the coolest. Yeah, the greatest titan that's ever lived. That's not even like an exaggeration, to be honest. He's really awesome. Actually, I this a new ending to the Red War. And this you actually can go to this area in, in uh, Mercury. Mercury? Mercury. I'm pretty sure it's Mercury. Pretty sure. Whatever. But you can go here. Definitely, I've gone here a few times. And you see bodies of Vex, and that's literally because he killed them all. And they made him this like grave for him out of respect. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like the idea of this DLC. I just really hope that they don't fuck it up. They don't make it like they did Season of the Undying because Season of the Undying was very lackluster in my opinion. If we're just counting Season of the Undying, it was very lackluster, but the argument I have seen is that, oh, well, it was lackluster because Bungie knew that they were going to combine it with Shadowkeep. And it's like, fair point. We'll see this DLC and then we'll judge it from there. So that's why I'm not saying like, oh, it's doomed. Apocalypse Cup. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we'll see in this DLC how it is. And we won't even see long. We'll see. We'll get the roadmap not long after this. And then from there... We can judge it, see how it is, because ultimately, the, <sighs> Sundial looks cool. I feel like I'm gonna get bored of it real fast, and I'm just I'm not excited for four weapons and an armor set again. Like if that's if that's the formula they're gonna be using, uh, you're gonna be losing a lot of people, including myself. I'm probably gonna get the armor and then the weapons and then just dip because there's really no replayability and there's no incentive like no new armor really okay cool so what what am i just gonna do just gonna farm for old armor sets and weapons i i already do that now what's the point of doing it then so that's pretty much my video let me know what you guys think about the trailer i think it's really cool but ultimately i do think they need to show me a little more before I, i'm sold i'm not like immediately like oh this is gonna be amazing no fuck that i'm i'm way too i'm way too smart for that now i'm just like I would say, oh yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'll wait and see until I buy it. But I got the collector's edition, so unfortunately, I'm kind of just tied to this boat now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Am I being too rash? Am I overthinking it? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys would like to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.